Notes August the 3rd to the 5th, 2022. Ethnic Regions. In Kachin State, the Kachin Army attacked and overran a Hunter proxy militia camp on August 2nd in Wangemoor Township near the state capital Myachinar. It chased out the pro-hunter operatives after killing 10 of them and captured a number of weapons. The camp had operated a roadblock that extorted money from travelers, but the Kachin army removed the roadblock. In Kathulai, Karen Nation, Duplai District, Mayawati Township on Burmese maps, the hunter again attacked southward along the Mayawati Vovle Road August 2nd. Russian-supplied attack jets dropped bombs at three-story bend, and hunter troops advanced, and were again repulsed with heavy casualties, according to the Karen Army Cobra Column, though figures were not available. The Cobras were unharmed. Cobra Column, after repeatedly suffering terrible losses in that area, hunter troops often fall back in total disarray, terrified of the Karen forces. In Kethula Duthatu District, Villain Township on Burmese maps, a hunter detachment from Winterpan Camp went to distribute salaries to two outlying camps on August 2nd and was intercepted by the Karen Army. At least 12 hunter troops were killed and their weapons captured. Other troops from Winterpan declined to leave their camp and go to the rescue of their stricken colleagues. Further west. Karen Army and Allied PDF forces attacked a hunter convoy going from Kyoto toward Yangon on August 2nd. Unofficially nine troops are thought to have been killed and a vehicle was destroyed. The hunter was not able to evacuate its wounded. One PDF fighter was killed by mortar fire. Also, a hunter informant in Kyoto Township was killed, and a hunter sergeant wearing civilian clothing out of fear for his safety was assassinated August 3rd in Kethulai Clare 2 District, Kyokji Township on Burmese maps. In Kethulai Brigade 4 area, Tanan 3i region on Burmese maps, a Yifai UPDF is reporting a large attack on a hunter convoy on July 31st. It started with mines that disabled large construction vehicles in the front, stopping the convoy and exposing the rest of the convoy to grenades and gunfire. In all, the PDF says about 30 hunter troops were killed. They were returning from attacking villages in the township. In Chin State, the battle to repair the sabotaged bridge on the Hakatalan Road continues. On August 3rd, Chin Defense Forces again attacked hunter troops trying to bring in construction materials to rebuild the bridge so they can send troops and supplies through that road. Three hunter troops were killed this time. In Mont State, a PDF opened fire in a local hunter courthouse in Yi Township on August 3rd, killing five hunter police. Hunter Scorched Earth Village Terrorism Campaign PDFs are trying to more effectively counter the hunters' village destruction terrorism, and on August 4th a PDF coalition counter-attacked 60 troops that were destroying Rather and Minua villages in Manmu Township, killing 15 of them. The hunter then called in helicopter gunships and strafed and bombed the villages of Inpenyadin and Kinkan and then burned them. The troops who attacked Lepanjin village by helicopter in Manmu Township on August 1st are leaving a trail of dead civilians. Ten bodies have been found so far, some wearing handcuffs but without heads, with other people still missing and possibly dead. Fourteen villagers were forced to put on military uniforms and act as human shields. People's Defense Forces, PDFs. In Kali Township of Sargaing region, a fierce battle took place in the South August the 3rd to the 4th when Allied resistance forces attacked a hunter camp at the Kali University of Technology and continued on into Tyakon village. They were able to kill 15 hunter troops with an unknown number of wounded. A PDF fighters was killed and 17 wounded. Meanwhile, in the northern end of the township, a convoy of 14 vehicles came down from Tamu, and 60 troops got out to demine the road before the vehicles passed. 20 of them were killed by blasts. The troops retaliated against the nearby village of Yazajur, firing mortars at the community and abducting some civilians. 
On the Monowa Mandalay Road, the Mayon Township PDF and the TGR Women's Drone Force Drone bombed two different junta convoys August 4, killing a total of approximately 12 troops and an officer. Before that, on August 2, about 20 troops positioned themselves on the road to provide security for the convoys. Those troops themselves were drone bombed, three died. In Tans Township of Zagaring region, a PDF counter-attacked another Junta Payu Sorhati village destruction gang on August 4 with locally made mortars as it was attacking by Gi village. Witnesses said they observed at least 10 bodies of Junta operatives being evacuated by cart. The PDF captured some ammunition. On August 2, PDF spawned a Junta convoy going from Shonyu to Mayanmu with 70 troops, then followed up with gunfire. The battle lasted for 3.5 hours, during which 19 troops were killed and others wounded. In Magwe region, a PDF bombed the Junta courthouse in Magwe town. Urban warfare in Yangon, there were bomb blasts August 4 at a police station in North Dagon Township. There were also blasts in North Okalapa, Insane, and Hyangthaya townships. One of the pro-junta thugs that attacked the home of pro-democracy martyr Ko Jimmy after he was murdered by the junta on July 23 was assassinated by an urban PDF on August 3. He was identified from viral internet videos. A fight among junta troops in Kayan Township of Yangon region got one of them killed, while another fight among junta police officers left two hospitalized. Morale is not good within the junta. The previous night, August 3rd, urban PDFs fired 40mm grenades at a police station in Kunchangon Township, two bombs exploded in North Okalapa Township and two more in Dagon Township. PDFs fired 80mm, 100mm, and 120mm locally made mortars at Junta troops stationed in Myaing City on August 1st, leading to an exchange of mortars. The PDFs couldn't quantify the Junta casualties. Civil Disobedience Movement CDM It is well known that UN aid agencies operating in Burma cannot help refugees in conflict areas without offending the illegal military regime, so they essentially deliver supplies where the junta wants them. Yesterday the junta formally restricted UN agencies from delivering food and medicines to conflict-affected areas, the areas where they are needed. The UN doesn't dare pass aid through cross-border channels and ethnic minority organizations, as that would make the junta angry. The Burmese Kiard currency continues to plunge, reaching 2,700 to the US dollar, compared to 1,300 before the coup. Prices of all goods are soaring, while salaries remain stagnant for those still employed. Since the junta insists on an artificial exchange rate of 1850, one for imports and exports, overseas trade has basically stopped.